Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of a sub-series. This is sort of part of Dear Mr. Atheist, uh, a thing we call TikToksic, responding to TikToks. And y'all know that purity culture specifically is something that gets under my skin. So I'd like to introduce you to somebody called Brianna Mayer. But there's a reason why. There's sort of an extra reason why that I'll talk about when we get in that I want to introduce you to this person because this is a person I, I'm hopeful for a future. For this person. I really am. But in the meantime, we have to talk a lot about a lot of things, including uh, her misspelling of a word that she keeps using. And it's very, very frustrating. But this is very much a purity culture, Christian, gives off trad wife vibes style TikTok channel. Now, before we do get started, because it's a purity culture episode, I, I kind of like to begin those with something like this. Hey, other Jimmy. Hello, everyone. It's me again, Jimmy with the good gifts. Hey, uh, speaking of gifts, it actually was just my birthday. Did you miss it? Did you remember? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing I want you to do for my birthday is get yourself a present, specifically from adamandeve.com. We are once again so chuffed to have them as a partner of this channel. I just, they're my favorite people. And by the way, if you use the code SNOW at checkout, once again, you can get 50% off one item, some exclusions applying, though you do have to, you have to try pretty hard to find those exclusions. 50% off, that is a good deal. Plus, they take 20% of their profits to fight HIV worldwide. They have been in the business for over 50 years. I just think they are amazing, and I really love to work with them. They also have 24-7 customer support, free shipping to the U.S. and Canada, and again, 50% off when you use the code SNOW at checkout. For my birthday, won't you just thrill yourself? Go to adamandeve.com and get 50% off. There's got to be those few people who don't know what's on adamandeve.com because we're kind of vague when we plug it. Uh, it's awesome. It's the best, but it is, it, you know, adults only. Okay, adamandeve.com, 50% off. Use that code at checkout. And remember, it's actually an amazing way to support this channel and to support the work we're doing by supporting our sponsors. Boomtown. Thank you, other Jimmy. Yeah, it just, it feels good to use purity culture to, to sell the remedies to purity culture. It really does. It really does in a lot of ways. Okay, back to Brianna. Brianna, I actually don't know the right way to pronounce it. Now, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you multiple videos here. I don't even have necessarily a particular plan for which videos I think you should see versus other videos. But I'll tell you, there are ones that I saw that I think stick out. Uh, let's start with one that it, it, look, we still have another minute or two before we pretty feel pretty safe against demonetization, depending on what terms come up, but I'm still gonna have to use some code words for certain things. Let's go with one of her really, pro, uh, 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 not profitable, what, I mean, maybe, TikTok I hear is not that way. One of her really prominent one, this one with 159,000 views. Sorry, little jump forward because I got confused from the lack of audio. I, I assume some sort of copyright thing happened. Uh, and by Brianna, I don't know what happened. But this one is, should Christians be doing yoga? And by the way, the title, which you can actually still see over here in this window uh, a little bit. I guess it's moved over and cut up a little bit. But it says Christians should not be doing yoga. So this is where we're beginning. And let's just see. Is yoga demonic? I have to make the noises since she can't. So is yoga actually demonic? Is it just paranoia from religious Christians who are thinking way over the top about this? Now, listen, uh, I was a certified yoga instructor. Okay. I'm just going to, I'm going to certify it. I studied the Hindu philosophy of yoga. Yoga means to be yoked with my goodness. This is tough. Not yoked to Jesus Christ, yoked to Brahma. Look, one of the gods in Hinduism, this is one of the things that I think is so funny about being of one religious, especially that is fundamentalist, is the way they make you fear anything that even resembles other religions. Because the number of people who do yoga for what you could call uh, uh, stretching and meditative benef benefits, who have no attachment to anything Hindu related, maybe even as they're sitting there listening to the instruction, and let all of the energy of such and such, where it starts to sound a little wooey, just ignore those elements. That's not an insignificant number. Yoga is not an, a, an unpopular thing even among secular people, even as they roll their eyes at some stuff. But like, like other things, there are things which have a religious basis when in reality, I mean, yoga is just like, it really is just kind of stretching and meditation put together. 
it's a method of relaxing and and it's uh, something that's recommended to doctor by doctors to people for good reason uh, if they need to work on flexibility, muscle pain, and the like. And it's just it's wild to me to be so afraid that religion has made people so afraid of anything that that isn't their religion that doesn't you know affirm their faith that you actually get to the point where they're like, hey, you really shouldn't be doing these stretching exercises because. Hindus came up with it before Christians did. But if Christians had to come up with it first, it'd be fine. So I guess maybe what the uh, problem with sound was, was she just like yoked this dude's uh, video. Okay, anyway, I think that's enough. I, I think we've gotten to enough. Does she actually speak in this at any point? No, apparently she just she just lets the other guy talk. And this is like the, by the way, and. I, I want to be very cautious because in the past I have gotten a little too far into this person annoys me. I don't like blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, it gets to like, I don't, you know, roasting this and everything. And sometimes you got to back off that. And I, I'm trying to be more cognizant of that. Like not, not be so insufferable that it just becomes, but, but I have to say the split screen, just nodding along to another person's content is the lowest form of content, in my opinion. It's like, it's like the only thing lower than that was like slow so flow Antonio back in the day when he would just literally like start, he would take somebody else's funny video that hadn't gone as viral because they didn't have as big a platform, somebody else's funny video and just go like, you guys, I laughed so hard when I saw this. And it's like, that's commentary. That's providing commentary. Nods are providing commentary. That split screen, watch how a person just sort of reacts and stays silent. Lowest, lowest absolute form. Here's one that has 1.9 million views. Oh my God. Trends that are demonic. By the way, the music that is on this is actually pretty good. Uh, however, I, I will have to change it during edit. What was the first one? I've, I missed the first one. What was the first one? Trends that are demonic. Evil eyes. Circles within circles. Demonic. Oh, I, I just like this by accident. Oh, I just liked it twice. I don't know how to TikTok. Astrology. Oh, it's hip hop. I just realized it's Christian hip hop. Uh, uh, but I gotta tell you, it's a banger. It's a banger. Incense. Incense is also, again, this is the paranoia. We're gonna get to the purity culture stuff, but the paranoia. By the way, I think astrology is ridiculous. So stupid. So obviously fraudulent. So obviously flawed. And by the way, inherently, a method of creating discriminatory boundaries for people on arbitrary characteristics and then suggesting the compatibility of those people on arbitrary characteristics. It's like, it's so prone to, if, if, if people in mass took it seriously, so prone to be such an evil level of bigotry. And by the way, that does happen in small pockets of people who believe in astrology. I've gotten the letters uh, from people who were very thankful when I spoke out against astrology because this whole, it does no harm thing is demonstrably false. Anyway, it is, so as far as harmful, uh, sure, the, I mean, astrology, definitely. Yoga, again, it's stretching. Any uh, religious aspect of yoga, I would also tell people to reject or at least investigate, find out if it's true or not, because that's what matters the most. Is it true? What was the first one again? I already forgot. Burning sage and incense. Uh, honestly, this is one I just wish people would do less because it makes some of us, including me, sick. It gives us migraines. I hate when I can smell. Uh, I, I just don't enjoy going to people alternatively spiritual people's homes because they often smell of things that give me migraines. Mm. Again, crystals. Yes. Nonsense. Not demonic, but nonsense. Your paranoia. It's, she's really good at, it's one of those things, it kind of reminds me of growing up Mormon, where it's like, I'm really good at identifying all the things that are bad other than Mormonism. Like all the reason why other Christian religions are wrong. I just don't do it so well for myself. What are the f angel numbers? Tarot cards, palm reading. Again, like it's so funny because there's a version of this 
I could do this exact video, different music I'd have to do. Again, you can't hear it, but uh, I could do this exact same video with just like, instead of the title about being demonic, I could just go like, here are things you might believe in. And if you do, you have failed as a skeptic. Astrology, tarot, the spiritual side of, of, uh, of, of yoga, palm readings, fortune tellings. You have been suckered. You have been suckered in. And I'm sorry. And I want to help. All right, let's jump in. Sins that have been too normalized. Once again, I think I'll have to change the music to music I have license for. She doesn't speak in a lot of these, except at the end where she goes, follow for more. Cursing. This actually is a part of purity culture, despite the fact that it's, it's not only a part of purity culture. But don't worry, we're getting to the purity stuff in this video. Uh, the, the, oh, apparently this is also from the Euphoria soundtrack, which is kind of funny and ironic. Uh, but anyway, the, the music that's playing that again, you won't get to hear. The cursing rules are so arbitrary and stupid. In fact, I might say they're so arbitrary and just fucking silly. Like, think about what I just did. Think about the words I just said. The, the way in which the two statements I just made, the cursing rules are absolutely stupid. Or the cursing rules are pretty fucking silly. Did you notice that one has a worse tone? That one has more malice? That one is more, like, wicked, if you might? It, it, one's jerkier? One's more a-holy? And yet it's, it's, this is why none of this stuff makes any sense. Or not, not this isn't the only reason why. But this idea about cursings, which is a huge one growing up as a Mormon. You're not supposed to curse. It is so arbitrary to where it's like my dad thought it was cool. He, he shouldn't be held, uh, nothing should be held against him as far as language goes because he didn't curse. He never cursed. He never said, you're a fucking idiot. But he did say, what are you taking fucking? No, he didn't say fucking, sorry. It's, it's so funny because what happens in my head is it's such cruel, mean shit to say that you actually expect there to be swear words. You actually expect it is it is a cursing, but it is. So he wouldn't say, what are you, a fucking idiot? He would say, what are you, taking stupid pills? Which is mean. It's unkind. The spirit of the cursing is still there. Now, maybe some people would argue that like, stupid still a curse word. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't, and Mormons wouldn't. That's a word you're allowed to use in church at the pulpit. Well, here are some stupid things the non-believers think and the next Mormons, and uh, you know, I don't know why I'm starting to sound a little bit more like uh, uh, Ken Hovind, but uh, okay. Uh, anyway. I like how my head bobbing is never gonna, it's never gonna match. Also, there's something about like, we've already moved on and we have to wait for her to finish her. Okay, this is the one that I, I was looking forward to bringing up because I've now seen it in a few videos. This is a sin. Bajubradation, right? And morality. Because we got to be careful with the words we say out loud on this show, on this channel. It's unfortunate. I don't like it many more than you do, but we got to be, we got to be careful. It's, it's a thing we got to do. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion and of lust, like the Gentiles who don't know God. What's really funny is she has a different episode where she actually justifies that maestro shubay shubay, sublation, sublating oneself. If you watch the line, you get the inside joke. The line's my call-in show channel that I've been putting a lot of focus in. And by the way, if you're watching this on Saturday, I'm probably about to go live on the line tonight to talk about this news that Donald Trump will probably be arrested on Tuesday. Uh, but anyway, uh, so, you know, you might want to go check that out. Go see if you can find it. It's, it's, uh, uh, and, and she just uses lots of, it's so funny because it's, it's all, this is a sin because of these verses that have nothing to do with it. But tangentially, I can say that that's what it has to do about it. Meanwhile, you can make it about nearly anything. You can make it about like enjoying food too much, like having a favorite food. You could, you could turn the, a lot of these verses into crap like that. For example, uh, now this at least talks about sexual immorality, which is to imply that any act which is sexual, if you're just going to say this means, because it doesn't mas mention sublating oneself, it doesn't, it doesn't mention that on this verse. So basically it's just going, okay, well, that's a sexual thing, 
therefore it must be sexually immoral to do. Now, by the way, I don't disagree that a lot of religions do mandate by other means. You know, Mormons have a basis that isn't the same as they don't need the Bible for because they've got their modern prophets, they think, to, to, to make those things clear. They can speak current day scriptures and say, well, that's against the rules because of now. But the Bible does not actually have anything. The only thing you can say that the Bible, uh, uh, the, the verse that they like to point to is the one where somebody was commanded to impregnate his, his husband's widow and instead of impregnating, he, he pulled out. That pulling out when commanded otherwise is a sin. That's about the only thing you can, you can get out of the Bible on sublating oneself. And she is real big on making sure people know that you're not allowed to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to, I didn't even push through that. Let's see what some of these other ones were. Laziness, slothfulness, which it's always subjective, always in the eye of the beholder. These are the ones that I always worry about where I'm like, mm, might be some dog whistles coming. Uh, gossiping. Boy, I wish people would take that advice. I really do. I really do. I'm sure there's no videos here anywhere evaluating, you know, somebody else's life. I'm sure nowhere in these videos <clears throat> does that exist anywhere. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe she's not that way. Here's the reason why I kind of have hope for her. And so, Brianna, what I want to tell you is if you want to have a discussion, I'll do it on air with you. I'll do it live. Because I notice something, and it's often pretty conspicuous when this happens. Now, listen, I'm not saying the following hypothesis, the following thing could be completely wrong. I might be totally off base, not even close to right. But I've noticed her channel was getting more and more successful. If you look down here at the bottom and you got higher and higher, she is doing better and better. The views are crawling up. And then she's hitting things like millions of views and some. She's hitting things like uh, over 10,000 consistently. She's putting more out, which, by the way, means she's getting more responses and there's going to be more people taking issue. And I just noticed this. Maybe it means nothing, but sometimes it does. If I watch her most recent video. By the way, already showing that this is like, you know, oh, I she made me faint on the floor with the power of the spirit, the kind of shit you can do at magic shows because people expect it. You know, it's a, it's a type of social performance. But the thing that I noticed about this video, I don't know why I collapsed that when it was not time yet. Look at the date on that. It's probably hard for you to see. February 17th. We're now at March 18th. She went from posting pretty consistently. February 10th. Here February 9th. February 9th. February 8th. February 7th. February 7th. February 6th. February 6th. February 5th. Here February 4th. are three ways to open doors to demons. I do want to finish this video. Let's do that one here in a second. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. It's been a while since I've done this show. Um, it's just what it, it, the, the dates, they, they abruptly stop about a month ago. Exactly a month ago, I think. A month and a day ago. A month ago. You know, February 28th, day month, all that. Anyway, it's about a month ago. They abruptly stop. And that's conspicuous to me whenever I see this happen. And I think you're going to actually see on this channel soon uh, some conversations and stories with people whose faith have changed, has either changed or they're deconstructing or they've got, yeah, gone different places. There are some conversations I'm looking forward to having on this channel. There are some other conversations that I don't, that people want me to have and I don't care to. Uh, uh, but this is a reference to getting swamped by ex-Mormons on Twitter who think this guy that I've already humiliated in an episode deserves to be platformed by me. But I have accepted on, a, on specific terms. If he can get me a Mormon general authority, I'll do it. Anyway, let's watch this video to end on. Number one is getting drunk or high. There is a reason why it's called wine and spirits. They always This is one that's always weird to me. Uh, is, uh, is Brianna Mormon? No, because no, 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 she's not because we saw the, the, the revival stuff they were doing in that coffee shop. That's, that's not even just not Mormon. Mormons would say that that's like demons or, or satanic spirits fooling them. Not even just that, like, it's a psychological phenomenon that can be explained away because Mormons won't start going down that route because suddenly you have to start pointing that their direction. But wow, there's so much overlap with her and Mormonism and, and their brand of purity culture, their brand of keeping yourself clean and all that sort of shit. There's, there's, there's something about that. Anyway, 
Jesus drank wine. Alcohol is like a big part of the Bible. There are also historians that are reevaluating and, and giving pretty compelling cases for there being high uses of things like psychedelics in early versions of the church. Not, not Mormonism too, but uh, uh, other Christian traditions as well. So it's, it's really interesting, this whole thing of like alcohol and spirits. By the way, alcohol saved the human, humankind, as, uh, as Ken, Ken Ham might say, um, or Kent Hoven. Ah, oh, they're kind of humans, okay. Uh, alcohol saved us in so many civilizations because it used to be basically the only safe water was alcohol. The only safe beverage was alcohol-based. So you've got like ancient Egypt, I, 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 as I recall, is one of them. Fermented barley drink, basically a type of gross beer from the time you're like three years old because it's the only safe thing to drink. It actually uh, uh, saved humanity. But anyway, you have to be afraid Always of Always call alcohol spirits because you're literally yielding to another spirit when you're doing this. Especially. I doubt, okay, here's the thing. I, I don't actually know what the origin of the word spirit is, but that sounds like the kind of Christian post hoc thing, just like made up on the spot. Just like, it, the reason they call it, like when Kanye West was like uh, at Joel Olstein thing, he's like, and by the way, uh, what did he say? Huh? By the way, I, I used to be able to do a Kanye impression, but I haven't tried in years, but I can still go, huh? But he said, by the way, when there was, when you, what was, how, how did he phrase it? Uh, Strip clubs are sex trafficking because at the end of the night, they ask, how much traffic did we do? Huh? I just throw huh in and you know it's Kanye. Uh, it, 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 how, much, how much traffic came through the doors? Wow, that's sex trap. Like, that's the kind of stuff these people do. And I'm not going to bother looking it up. It just seems to me that it's very likely because you're literally in a different spirit. I can't even prove the spirit exists. But here we are. This is the thing too, with every single religious person we have on this channel, every single one, every single one, every single one, it's the same challenge to all of them. Would you just prove it? Would you just prove it? With a good, a good way that you can exclusively prove it? Because... There are those who are like, of course I can prove it. All you have to do is this process. And it's the same process for every religion. You can somehow prove Mormonism and Satanism, religious Satanism, not secular Satanism, true with the same process. That was a bad example because there's not even that much religious Satanism out there. But like you, somehow some two things which are in total opposition. You can prove Mormonism and Southern Baptism. And Southern Baptists believe Mormons are going to hell. True with the same process. It's all about praying to God and... He'll, he'll tell you. He'll affirm it. You'll get a burning in that bosoms. Especially getting high, you're opening yourself up to the supernatural realm. That's literally why they call it high, because you're going... No, it is not. But also, <laughs> wouldn't that be good? If it's opening you to the supernatural realm, isn't that where God is? Isn't that a win for getting high? Because she's so high! Yeah, into the second hand in the supernatural realm... Which is not good. That's where Satan and his crew dwells. But that's where First God and Peter his angels 5, dwell. Says, wait, 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 wait. That's where God and his angels are. If it's bad, because that's where... But, so as long as you're going to them, don't go to Satan's house. Get high and only go to God's house. How would this... How would that be a negative? So don't go to Satan. Go to God instead. And by the way getting high because you're in a higher plane. Satan in hell is always referred to as below. Hell's the, uh, heaven's the one that's up. That's the one that's high. <laughs> what are you talking about? Has to be sober minded and watchful because the devil is like a roaring lion seeking to whom he may devour. Number two is horoscope. Oh man, it's just, it's kind of boring. Horoscopes and astrology is a way to open up your demons. What was number three? Am I, am I going too fast to find it? I mean, it's going to be the proverb, say the window of your soul. Horror movies and also adult entertainment, AKA corn. Always ending on some purity culture stuff. Oh, I just liked also it. Also adult again. entertainment. 
you know what I mean. Proverbs 30, 17 says the eye is the window to your soul. So what are you allowing come into your soul, which is- By the way, that's, that's about looking into somebody's eyes, not what they're looking at. Is an open door to the devil. If you're watching evil things, of course, evil is going to be able to come in. Ephesians 5.11 says, take no part in unfruitful works of darkness. Okay, here's the thing. I, I feel like the, my, my summary of her stuff is it is all cliches. It's cliche after cliche after cliche. You should see this video she has. This is the, uh, the things found from real life in the Bible. I'll just run through them quickly. Uh, nails from the cross. They've literally never been proven to be from, quote unquote, the cross, the one that Jesus was on. Lots and lots of people have been uh, crucified and wooden nails may have been repurposed in other construction, but the cross, no. And here's like how I, why it's like the most shallow levels of evidence. She's literally still quoting the, the, the burial shroud, the shroud of Turing. The, the thing that has been thoroughly debunked. The person who made it up admitted to making it up. It is a scam. And it, that's been acknowledged by many religions, by the way, who are many Christian sects who don't deny scientific realities and the tests that they've done on this thing. The thing is a scam. It was a purposeful scam. The tomb Jesus was buried in has never been concerned. We found a tomb. Well, this will be Jesus's then, of course. Who said? Todd. Why, why does that matter? Todd talks to God. Oh, Todd, God's Todd. Yes, Todd talks to God, and God said, Todd, this here, that's, that's the tomb. So the tomb Todd talked to God about, Todd's tomb, well, not Todd's tomb, God's tomb, when God came down in the form of as Jesus Christ. God talked to Todd and it was the tomb. There's no, again, this is things found in real life. None of these verified and some of them actual scams. The crown of thorns, scam. But anyway, follow for more. But then she abruptly stops. She abruptly stops. I don't know why she abruptly stops. And I'd like to know. Brianna, Mar, maybe it is, May or whatever, however you pronounce it. Reach out. Let's talk. You and me. If you're deconstructing, even better. If you're not, Let's have a conversation. Let's do it on this channel. We'll split the screen. I'd be happy to. You have a growing platform, and I'm sure that you care whether or not what you believe is true. And if it is, is or isn't, either way, what the impacts of your words are on people who do or don't accept your beliefs. And so let's talk about it. Let's talk about those things. Uh, there's, there's a, there's a, Hashtag revival is now in the last video I showed you, but I kept reading it as revival I snow. And I was like, wait, did she predict I'd be coming here? I've revived snow. That's it. That's all I have. Uh, Adamandeve.com, use the code snow at checkout, and I'll be live on the line uh, almost certainly tonight uh, talking about this whole, well, the country's about, it's probably over. You know, the country's probably over. No, no, no. This is a good thing. Maybe. It could be. We'll see. But all that stuff at the end. Uh, I'm Jimmy Snow. This is Dear Mr. Atheist. Thanks for hanging out. Patreon.com slash Jimmy Snow. Or no, Dear Mr. Atheist. Mr. It's something. There's links in the description. And come over to the line. The line is where I'm, I'm doing shows all the damn time. And send me, some, send me some religious people. Get your friends to call in. Let's have those convos. They'll be as long as... As long as respect is given, expect will, respect will be... Respe what did I just say? Expect respect... As long as the respect, it, it, we will we will always show respect to those who show us respect. Those who try to shout us down or lie, doesn't go so great about them. But uh, uh, let's 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 have those combos. Send me them peeps. I feel like the last few words, I, sentences, I, 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 my brain is. The episode really probably ended like three minutes ago as my brain turned to mush. Uh, but I'll get it back before tonight's call-in show. All right, Snow at checkout, AdamandEve.com, fifty percent off counter purity culture with I don't have a good pun to go here so uh fade to black <laughs>